gaming has had quite the history. From superstar developers to classic games, there's a lot to talk about. But what are the most important moments in gaming history? From technical advancements to cultural movements, we're going to be breaking down the top 10 moments in gaming history. <laughs> Let's get into it, gamers. Number 10. Tennis for Two. While it might not look like much these days, Tennis for Two more or less launched gaming. There's some debate as to whether Tennis for Two is really the first video game ever made, but it's undeniable that without Tennis for Two, we wouldn't have video games as we know them today. Number 9. The creation of the transistor. We're taking it way back for this one, gamers. Our number 9 spot is going to the transistor. The transistor was invented by a group of researchers at Bell Labs in the late 1940s. To put it simply, without transistors, modern computers wouldn't even exist. Not really a video game, but it's definitely a certified gaming moment. Number 15. The invention of Super Smash Brothers. For n number 15, we gotta give it up for the creation of one of the greatest games ever made. While many people seem to think that 1998's Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo 69 is the first Smash Bros. game, that couldn't be further from the truth. Smash Bros. as a game mode was invented way back in ancient Greece, but the competitive rule set was very different. First of all, the fighters would use items instead of having them turned off. The fighters would only play best of one with only one stock, meaning if they lost one battle, it was over. In late Rome, the Caesars at the time were worried that they weren't hitting their livestream numbers. So by the Diocletian period, stage hazards were always on, meaning that the fights would also have the players go against lions, tigers, and bears. The release of Skyrim. Skyrim was one of the craziest games to ever release. In 2011, no one had ever played a game like it. Made by a small indie studio called Bethesda, the first entry into a now long-running franchise was truly groundbreaking. It's hard not to put the sequels like Special Edition or Anniversary Edition or Legendary Edition or Switch Edition or Fridge Edition or Oblivion Edition on here, but you gotta give the respect to the original. Hopefully, that small indie studio can give us something really special when Skyrim 2 comes out. Number 6. The Tiananmen Square Massacre Number 5. The Release of Skyrim yeah, it was that important, we put it on the list twice. When you literally create the RPG genre, that's what we call a pretty big deal. What can we say? This Todd Howard guy has got some real talent. Poggers. Number four. Nintendo fails. It might be weird to see a failure on a list of best gaming moments, especially from a wholesome Keanu Chungus company like Nintendo, but back before they created the first video game that mattered, Nintendo was up to some shady business. The Big N owned a number of love hotels, where for a monetary and moral price, you could pay a sex worker to help you bust fat loads. Luckily, Nintendo doesn't do anything sketchy or morally questionable questionable today, if Nintendo would have continued to do that, who knows where gaming would be. The birth of your mom. You might be wondering, what does my mom have to do with these heated gamer moments? But I assure you that she's been a really big part of it. First of all, she brought you some fire tendies when you were gaming. She didn't need to do that. She could have let your fat ass starve. But it's really the community work that puts her in the number three spot. After being in a few games with you, I was really glad to hear that your mom has helped so many people out. Without your mom's noble sacrifice, many of the young men in these lobbies would have gone unsatisfied. So when we look back at moments that define gaming, the birth of your mom is certainly one of the most important. 
the American Civil War. This might be a controversial pick as Robert E. Lee was one evil gamer, but for better or for worse, he was maybe the first true gamer. For those who don't know, Robert E. Lee started the Confederacy and went to war against the good guys. He claimed that he went to war over states' rights, and to this day, people aren't really sure what he meant. But as a guy that signed up for and then didn't attend some history courses, I would guesstimate that the war was about slavery. Robert E. Lee went to war so he could own people, and since that day in multiplayer lobbies the world over, gamers are still owning people to this day. Gamers and Confederates have even more in common, like neckbeards, poor hygiene, and liberal use of racial slurs. Alex is doing this shit. So despite me not liking it, I'm going to have to give it up to the Civil War for creating many shameful cornerstones of gaming culture. Before we get to number one, let's go ahead and run through some honorable mentions. Jesus invents respawning. Up until Christ died and respawned, real life and gaming was just a one-life affair. Without Jesus' sacrifice, multiplayer shooters wouldn't even function. Thank the Lord. Notch invents Fortnite. After creating Minecraft, it's hard to think that anybody could hit gold twice, but Notch did it after releasing Fortnite for the Wii U in 2004. 1973. There was a lot of things that happened in 1973, but perhaps the most important thing was that the United States government legalized spawn killing. While spawn camping is a pretty unpog gamer move, it's a very popular tactic, and even though I don't like it, I I think it deserves a shout out. The creation of the Axis powers. I know what you're thinking, first Confederates and now Nazis, but it'll make sense in a second, I promise. The actions of the Axis powers during World War II were unacceptable and morally corrupt. Wehrmacht Germany and Hirohito Japan showed that the world can be very dark on its darkest days. But without the acts of World War II, we wouldn't have gotten any Poggers World War II video games. Where would gaming be without COD 2, Wolfenstein, Battlefield 1942, The Outfit, Hidden and Dangerous 2, Silent Hunter, Pacific Fighters, or... Pearl Harbor Attack Attack? Dude, how many of these are there? Why is there so many of these? Why is there so many? It was a deadly war. It was the most deadly war in human history. Why is there so many of these? And while the European campaign and Hitler get a lot of love in these games, you gotta throw some love towards the Japanese emperor for getting those good old United States involved. Without one of the most disastrous ganks in history at Pearl Harbor, who knows what the world, or more importantly, video games would even look like. Uh, they're all together. Together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blaster, ready for the dive! And from Universe, it's a disaster! CDC! So the next time you're blasting Nazis with a sense of moral superiority, or using an MP40 in a modern shooter, just let out a little. Thanks, Hitler. That's the list. Is there any that I missed? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That's right, we're Japanese.